today we're going to do a quick overview on how to copy, paste, and move documents. And what I've done here is I've opened up the DE Documents Library, since that seems to be the folder that most of you are working out of when you're trying to do a move, copy, or paste. And we're going to go over some of the easiest ways to do this very thing. So with the DE Documents Library open, you can see that I'm going to click on the Chapter Component Checklist for Nonfiction. You see all of the elements are there. And say that you want to move this document from where it is in the DE Documents Library to another student or to your own personal folder. Now, because this is a document in the DE Documents Library, you cannot share it with a student. So that option is not going to be available to you because we don't want students in the DE Documents Library. These documents need to stay as pure as possible so they can be shared with students and among the DEs as needed rather than having students get in and change these documents and then having us to constantly replace them. So what you're going to want to do to share this document instead of actually using the share option is to make a copy. And there are a few different ways that you can do that. The first one and the easiest is to literally go in, click anywhere in the document, hit control A, hitting both of those keys at the same time will highlight everything in the document. You want to hit Control C to copy everything in the document. You're then going to want to go to your target folder. In this case, I'm going to use my private folder. I'm going to come here up here in the upper right hand corner where you can see I'm going to click on this pen and paper icon and that's going to open up this little box. And in this box, you will see that I have a whole bunch of new um, document options and for this one I'm going to go ahead and put it in my documents folder click on the icon see a new document now again it's going to offer it to me in private which is the parent folder of the documents folder that I'm using or create in documents I'm going to cl click on create in documents click on create in documents and it's going to open up a brand new document for me. And all I have to do is hit Control V and everything that I selected from the previous, the original document immediately appears. In order to get rid of this untitled, you can just backspace out of that. Once you do that, it should change the title of your document. If it's running a little slow as it seems to be today, you can again, copy and paste that information and put it up at the top of the document so it's all fixed for you. This creates a complete new copy of the document. So this is its own document. So if I were to put this in a student's folder or like I've done, I put it in my own documents folder, any changes I make to this document are completely separate from the original document in the DE Documents Library. By copying and pasting the document and creating a new document in this way, I'm in no way open to the possibility of damaging the original document. So this is always a valid way to copy and paste not just documents, but spreadsheets and even images within Quip. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go back to the DE Documents Library. And I'm going to look here at the chapter component checklist for Fiction Memoir Creative. Now, you'll see that Again, this is another document that I want to share with a student or put into my own private folder. Um, but this time, instead of doing the copy and paste method, I'm actually going to do a copy and move. And so we do that by going up to the document menu. And then once we see up there, we can select copy document. Now, what you must do when copying a document this way is change the name of the document. If you leave the name of the document exactly as it is right here, and then you move it to a new folder, any changes made in that new folder will affect every copy because it all has the same name. So you're going to want to take out copy, or in my case, I'm gonna put personal. And that is all the kind of change that you need to make to make sure that you are creating a completely new document rather than creating a copied link to the original document. So I've changed the name and I wanna copy this to my private folder. So I'm gonna put copy to private.
and there we are. Now, if you look up here, you'll see I have no backup folders. Normally, you would see a parent directory here of folders, um, and that does not appear here in this case because it should be in my private folder at this time. So even if I backspace out, you'll see the original document is still here in the DE Documents Library parent folder and is not going to be affected by changes I make to the document that's now in my personal private folder. All right, so I can go through here and I can change George the Dragon. Um, Right, so I can make these changes to the document. And if you page back, you'll see that it did not change the original document because I changed the name. Now let's say I've actually put this together for a student and I don't want it to stay in my folder. I want it to go to the student's folder. So in this case, you go back up to document and you're going to move to folder, move to another folder. Now, this can take a minute depending on how quick your internet speed is working that day. Mine is a little slow today due to storms in the area, so this may take a minute. But you'll see, if I go to this, I'll go to shared folders, it is literally going to give me a list of every folder that I have access to, and then I'll need to either know the subfolder or I'll need to know the name of somebody that I'm looking for. All right, so I can go in and find whose folder I want to move this to. So let's say that I want to move it to, I'm going to say Brian's folder. Adding this document to the shared folder will share the document with 23 people. I'm assuming that when I do this, the 23 people who have access to this folder have been given access by the student or they've left their student, their, pardon me, they've left their folders open to public viewing. So that's fine. You always want to go ahead and keep the permissions the student has set on the folder and share it. And now you'll see that when you go up to the top and look, that again, the parent folder is now Brian's folder. If for some reason I've made a mistake and I don't actually want to share it with Brian, I want to share it to someone else, all I have to do is go move to another folder. And I can go right back up here. And in my case, I'm like, oops, I want to move this back to my documents folder and my private folder. All I have to do is go back to the tree, move that document, and you'll notice that it right back the parent folder is again listed as the documents folder. Now, there are going to be a few times when you're going to want to go ahead and just share a link. Remember, you cannot let students into the DE documents library. However, if you've established your own set of library documents that you do want to share with students, one of the easiest ways to do that is actually to go up to document and you can do share here and use shareable link. You're going to copy the link and then you can actually take that copied link to a chat room message and in this case I'm going to send this message to Sherman. Tag that person and paste the link and then when I send this message they will have a link to this document that they can go in and view at any time because you've given them a shared link allowing them to view the document. Occasionally, you will get a request for document permissions, generally under the shared with me or request for permissions over here. If that is a document that you have shared with a student or with another DE that you wanted them to have permission to view and you forgot to give it to them, just go ahead and hit the yes button when it gives you that option. So if you have any questions about how to move, copy, or share a document or spreadsheet, please be free, feel free to let me know, let your Wrangler know, let Sherman Morrison know, let any of the people in the chat room that you happen to be involved with know, um, and anybody who can will be able to give you the answer to your questions. If you have anything that comes up during the day, please let me know, and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. I hope you have a great day and that you found this helpful. Thank you.